Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. I can call the meeting to order, but as of right now, we do not have a quorum. So maybe we need to wait a few minutes. But there is a potential savings significant to that. So I, I think that's something we need to discuss. Um, 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 we need to do a little more executive session. I don't think we can. That's the problem. Okay, we can. Okay. Can we take budget into executive session? Um, if it involves personnel, we will meeting that, that would be harmful in knowing ahead of time. So it, it, to, to maybe flush it out and explain it, it might be helpful because <clears throat> there are pieces that are um, just trying to expl like, explain it here very quickly. Will, um, Cause you gotta get grain in it. I guess is the best way to say. And we are on, so I don't know how much yeah. it's good to know. Okay, so I just texted Megan to see if she's coming. I know Jason's not, so you <laughs> could end up you could end up with a very short quick <laughs> end. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can have a general discussion of budget because we can do do a budget discussion, but we can't hold a regular meeting. That's my understanding. I believe that is correct. Yeah. Okay. I can't explain this with me. The other one. The budget sheet for Rocky. I don't know if I was it. information session right <clears throat> not doing any business because we don't have a quorum mm -hmm. well, we did have a, a another contribution right but we can put that off till next meeting uh, we had a, a new hire also new hire. Okay. All of our probably good. What, what is that? The librarian at um, CES. Is that a parent position then? Pardon? That's a parent. SRES. Andy, yeah, SRES. Apologize. Yeah, I, so Saxon's River. Sorry. Saxon's River. Yeah, I, I was I, saying Saxon's River in my head. I apologize. I, and I was more. hearing Saxon's River in my head. <laughs> so, no, it's not a parent position. It's not. Okay. But it has to be approved, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we'll have to put it off till next meeting if we don't have a quorum. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what is your pleasure, Jigs? Um, it doesn't look like Megan's coming. She hasn't answered. My message was delivered. So we do not have a quorum. Do you want to have a inform information type session? Um, we can't hold a board meeting because we don't have the quorum. We can't do any business. I don't know. I, don't know. I think uh, I think what what I what I thought I would do, uh, Priscilla, is send you a copy of my comments. Um, and then you could share them with with Andy and the principals, and uh, and then you know I'm I'm generally around. Of course, I, as you know, my leg is uh, I got a problem. I don't know what's going to happen. I got I'll find out tomorrow morning. But um, the uh, presumably uh, you know I'll be able to to work on work in, on Zoom. Uh, so anytime you can get the, the group together for a vote, then that would be uh, appropriate. But I, <clears throat> I think we've we've already, I've already discussed, uh, uh, you know, a couple of items: the the uh, the position at Central and the position at uh, Saxons River, uh, and uh, and then there's a couple of other a uh, couple of other things that I'll highlight. Uh, Clearly, most of these things really uh, need to be vetted uh, between Andy and the principals. Uh, I did share Andy with uh, with uh, Priscilla uh, some thoughts, and I think she's going to relate those to you. But the, you know, you don't. We don't need to keep everybody on the line to do that. I th think it would be uh, be helpful though for her to share that with you. Okay. Yeah, and I did some of that sharing before the meeting started too. Hey, a bit. Good. Good. Um, and that might be a good use of this time, like it, as opposed to we we could just yeah. have that conversation and. Yeah, I think so, because um, uh, Megan says that she's on the road from Brattleboro. She'll log in as soon as she gets it. Be a. I don't think, I don't think that's, uh, yeah. I don't think it's productive to just stay. Um, the next meet, uh, the next meeting is January 17th. Now is that Martin Luther King Day? That is. Um, do we want that meeting or do we, uh, sometimes we've moved it to Tuesday? Would that work? It's certainly okay with me. I don't. Uh, it's really the uh, principles that uh, uh, would have uh, perhaps have an issue. I don't know, but it's okay with me to have it on the seventeenth. Yeah, they have that day off. We have a professional development day that day, but I think it should be okay. No, that's Martin Luther King Day. We on the eighteenth. On the eighteenth, we're talking about. So that shouldn't be an issue for us. There's nothing else right now scheduled. So we could move it to the 18th. All right, let's let's we'll move that to the 18th. That way, people that are away. I, th I think by the 18th, um, we should have a, a also a very good understanding of the SU um, budget, which would be helpful right. um, with this discussion. And hopefully, we can finalize it. I really hate to have to think about postponing it and um, having a special meeting later. But that is an option if we can't get it together with the business office um, personnel being disrupted and changed and all the changes that have happened this fall. It would be better to get it right than to do something and, and then wish we had waited. So that's an option if we can't get it right. But I, it looks like, I mean, the hard work that, excuse me, that Andy's been doing, uh, it just, it looks like you know, we're really going to be in pretty good shape anyway, so I'm hopeful. Okay, right. so it'll be 18th at 
And just a short note as far as uh, negotiations are have gone to mediation. Okay. So that's you're aware. Oh. So um, All right. just with a question here for pushing this off is there so we can't do anything with um, the library percent. So it, 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 it. We can get a vote. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know if there's any way, you know, I don't know if folks are available another day. We could just do a meeting just for that. Um, just I hate to wait another two weeks. We've been waiting a long time. Oh, yeah. You, fully understand. You need, um, you need the you vote. Know. You need the, Do you need the vote before uh, the librarian can start? Technically. Technically. <laughs> I mean, it would, I, given the state of everything, Jigs, I would always want to do it right first. And um, so, and and so, I guess the the other way around it is just to do a special meeting just for that vote sometime, yep. and maybe Megan or, or Jason is available, and the two of you are available. So, um, so maybe we can figure that out and put that on. Uh, um, it, it shouldn't take more than. 10 minutes i, mean, I, I don't think, think it would, yeah. so um no, that's fine with me so i don't know if, um, you know again it, it would be jason and megan's schedule also trying yeah. to figure that out so um i can i can certainly text well, her, her yeah i can email. we can email and figure out okay we can figure out a, a time where we can do it oh well, say a 15 minute yeah. meeting yeah um to um look at the uh, librarian position and then in the meantime, we can make sure we get the information out to you guys ahead of time. So if you have any questions, then if that questions, you, we can front load it a little bit so that can streamline that. So That's great. If, it'd be great if we could look at something towards the end of this week. I know we need two days, so, um, you know, or, or early next week. Uh, do we for a special meeting? 24 hours. 24 hours. So thank you. Megan so, says she's running into her office right now. Oh, oh okay. All right. Well, maybe. Maybe we can have a meeting anyway. So, <laughs> wait long enough. I think if we We'll just do the budget discussion, though, like we said, and we'll just do the other okay. a quick exec session so that I can get approval on the other thing for my board. I don't think there's a problem, but and approval is always better. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have an updated, um, we printed it this afternoon, it didn't have the, those two items on there, the substance over ones. What number do you have those as? Uh, I'm going to because I opened the wrong one. <laughs> so, now there it is, 6A, A, B, and move the others down. And 6A, B. Point and donation. Okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. See if I can do it all the way down through. That's, that was that. Come on, Megan. Okay, there she is. Hi, Megan. We're going to make this really, really quick short. I'm going to go through it really fast since you are here. We were just going to suspend the meeting and. and Ooh, I'm so yeah. sorry. This way we won't have to. So we're glad okay. you're here. And um, I'm going to call the meeting to order at 547. Um, uh, let's do the pledge because we do that. I'll leave the pledge. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, next is any adjustments to the agenda. Um, not the new agenda. We have two things. 6A is appointment of librarian and B is a donation. 5A, I'm going to remind you of what policies are we're coming under. Um, and everything else just moves down. Is that okay? Just put your hand up if so, guys. Yep, it's good with me. And jigs. All right. Uh, communication and public comment. Uh, there's no one on there from the public other than staff and, and us. So on to number five. Um, let's put off reviewing the board minutes till next time. Um, 5A policies, A1, um, which is board member conflict of interest, B1 substitute teachers, B2 volunteers and work study students, uh, B5 employee unlawful harassment, B7 tobacco, tobacco prohibition, and C6 home study students. They're all from our old numbers and I have the numbers that go with them, but those will be posted and we, so that we can look at approving those for next time. Uh, unfinished business is the budget, but we're going to, we've already kind of had a brief um, informative discussion. So we'll have that discussion and we'll discuss that more in detail yeah. next time. Um, I did that in front before 6A, sorry. Appointment of the librarian. Um, Mr. Hans, would you like to give us a quick test? For you, so, um, so we would like to, uh, and I'm gonna ask um, Laura Hazard to, to speak a little bit also just about Diane. So it's Diane, um, and I butcher your last name, so I do apologize, I think it's Clout. Is it Clout, is that right, Laura, or Clout? I was gonna go with my high school French, Clouet. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. So Clue sounds really great. So um, Diane is, do you wanna give a little bit about her? Um? Sure. Um, so as you know, we have been searching for a library and media specialist for some time. Um, Diane has applied for the position. She um, comes with uh, numerous years of experience as an elementary school, primarily um, in Richmond and academic support teacher. Um, she also has a license in early childhood education. Um, she is not currently licensed as a library media specialist, but is very interested and willing to work towards that. Um, she is, uh, her uh, letters of reference and, and uh, recommendation checks uh, were stellar. And um, she uh, particularly loves to develop uh, students thinking and build relationships with them. So that was very exciting um, to me and of course loves literacy and exploring literacy with children. So we had, um, um, she would come on as a point for FTE, is that? Uh, that is correct. Uh, we're looking because she did not have the um, licensing as a librarian um, that I proposed a um, bring her in at the step eight with the masters um, at this time. Why is step eight if she's not licensed as a librarian? To um, me, that should come in as a beginning step. I When I was looking at it, I was looking at the years of experience that she does bring um, and um, felt that it did warrant it because she is bringing in quite a bit, even though she's not licensed as a librarian, she does have a lot of experience um, working with kids, working with literacy. Yeah, uh, we probably need to discuss it in exec session since we're okay. discussing personnel. Okay. So let's put that into exec session. All right. Um, uh, donation. Can we have, is that the same one? This is, the, this is a, the similar same same group uh, uh, provided donation. Laura, I think it came in a day after the meeting or something like that. Is it, that 
Yes, it definitely did come in a day after the last board meeting. Um, but this is a donation that we have received um, in the past, at least in my past two years at Saxons River, a very, very generous donation um, of $2,000 uh, to be used for student activities. Okay, last time we had the motion, Jim, you made the motion to accept the 2000 donation from River Charities for the activities fund for the middle school. So um, would you like to make that motion for Saxons River? Yes, I'd be happy to make that motion. It's the same uh, source? Yes. I, then I'd, uh, I'd make the motion to accept the uh, donation of $2,000 from the River. I'm sorry. I, I, River Charities. Uh, Okay, and uh, for uh, the Saxons River School. Activities Fund. Activity Fund, right, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, any discussion? Okay. Megan, how do you vote? Uh, it's a yes for me. Yes. Yes for me. So the motion passed, thank you. Okay. Um, like I said, we did unfinished business of budget. We kind of had that discussion. So um, next meeting is January 18th at 5.30. We moved it from Monday to Tuesday because that's Martin Luther King Day. So that would be the next meeting. Um, unless we need to have a budget meeting before that and then we need to call one. But as of right now, we'll meet on January 18th at 5.30 and hopefully our budget for weekend look at it and get it approved that night and not have to have too many more meetings that, that week because it's due that week anyway. Uh, director's comments. Jim, you want to go first? Happy New Year. Let's, <laughs> hope, let's hope we can get through this, uh, this uh, recent uptick uh, in the coronavirus and uh, again, I urge the uh, parents to get their children vaccinated. Thank you, Jigs. Um, Megan? You know, nothing from me tonight, Priscilla. Happy New Year to everyone, and um, yeah. Thank you, Megan. Um, and for me, just please be careful, be healthy, be kind to each other, and We'll look at this new year again, like we did last year, hoping that it provides us a relief from COVID and back to normal sometime in the future. It is coming. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, can I have a motion to go into exec session to discuss um, a personnel matter where premature public knowledge could place the board and our individuals at a disadvantage? Uh, so moved, Priscilla. Who do you want to attend? Who do you want to attend? Uh... Um, yeah. Um, uh, Andy, for the for the beginning, do we need the principal too? I, I would like Laura there, just and Laura Hazard, the principal. Okay, so can we call the vote, Jigs? Yes. Again? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we'll enter into exec session at five fifty six.